thought I'd see her asleep on our city. <laughs> Me and all. <laughs> Look at her. Go black and open gate. <laughs> Don't be awful. A bus could take a wrong turning down there. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> now, a good year to put her up. Well, we have no choice. Besides, she's no threat, is she? Well, of course not. She will be on her bike as soon as we can roast her. Hello, Butchie. It's your mum. You're no mum of mine, you cow. Get her out. We should have warned him. He's overcome. He's right, isn't he? Oh, Seth, I had to tell you about Reggie, but it were a long time ago, another life. His back, though. Well, I didn't ask him. You didn't tell him to sling his hook? I tried. How come it was so hard? Oh, I'm sorry. Which of us do you want? Oh, who do you think? I wouldn't ask you if I knew. And he's coming back today. You're not going to do out daft, are you? I don't know what I'm going to do. Well, I've hidden you 12, Bo, just in case. Well, he's always been a sensitive soul, our butch. Oh, well, keeps you well hidden most of the time. Oh, fellas for you. You come round. I'd like to apologise for Butch's behaviour, Mrs Dingle. Who are you when you're at home? Emily Wiley, and I am at home. Emily's Butch's girlfriend. He finally got himself a woman. <laughs> Me and Zach were beginning to have our doubts. Well, you boys getting desperate. Bet Richie thinks he's got it made. What do you mean? You doing his ironing. Can we have your attention, please? <laughs> Come on, Mum. I'm too busy for games. We well, won't be when you see what we've got. What's that? It's half of what we earned. So there's no need to give us pocket money, and we're helping you out. Oh, come on, boys. We don't want your money. Can I have it? Hey. It's for our own good. Well, how'd you work that out? Well, you'll have less worries, and you won't argue as much, and then everyone's happy. Especially me, because me adoption will have gone through. Look, I don't have to justify myself to you. But tell me, how can helping Kelly set up herself in London benefit me? What? A love nest away from all the gossips? Oh, and pious sister. Business trips on the company account? No different to your laughable adventures as co-driver of a truck. Just pretend I'm not a... Uh, How are you feeling? Dog rough. Whose is the green dressing gown in the bathroom? I just threw up over it. Oh, it's really shaking me, Betty. Living with somebody, seeing them every day and still not really knowing what's going on deep down. Yeah. Yeah, that must be hard. I'm supposed to be visiting her tonight. I'm dreading it. Sorry, I'm late. Don't worry. I can hardly dock your wages, can I? Family crisis. Well, that must be now new for your lot. Not just them. Oh, I've never seen Butch like it. I mean, he got into a state over my dad. That's only to be expected, though. He was standing up for my rights. I tell you what I think it is. It's an old emotional scar that's bust open and all the septic pus and badness has flowed out like a river of bad memories and betrayal. Don't you think? Well, you lost me round the septic river, love. What's it going on with myself? Just a bit. Sorry. Perhaps I'm making a drama out of a crisis then. Well, what is the crisis, love? Mrs Dingle's back. Oh, I didn't know Lisa had been away. Not Lisa. This is Nellie Dingle. Well, suddenly my uh, problems don't seem quite so bad. Hey, up. All right, Roy. Yeah. You? Yeah. Hey. It were better when you lot lived there. Well, 
Still, now upstairs is the same, does it? How's your Kelly then? It's been rough for you, hasn't it? Yeah. Have you heard the news? No one knows what to say to me, but. My mum's come back. Nelly? Yeah, she just turned up. Wish my mum would. Not sure I like her, you won't. You know, Roy, me and you were in the same boat. Only different. You wish your lot were here. And I wish I were out of the lot of it. Just me and my Emily. That's all I wanted. Hey, this is only temporary. Oh, don't worry, love. I won't outstay me welcome. I mean, very temporary. Things have changed. I don't blame you. Getting someone in sharpish. Keep it clean and cook for you. At least it's not just a skivvy. Oh, no, she's a belter. And I didn't move her in sharpish. I was... bereft. Oh. Desolate when you went. Were you? Gutted. Oh, that's nice. Well, it wasn't for me. Did you miss your little Nelly? Well, of course I did. Oh. But I got over you. <laughs> Things were a bit slack at work. Yeah, you've dropped lucky, Zach. One who will support you and all. I was... I was just telling her that, that she'll have to make alternative arrangements. Oh! I'll uh, go, then. Should I...? No. I'd like you to stay, Liza. Lisa? As you've been good to me. I'd like to let you know what went on in Ireland. Yay! Well, that's your business. But you might think better of me. Just put kettle on and I'll tell you over a nice brew. They must have cost you. They're not a reward. You don't have to pull a stunt like that to get attention. Oh, don't you start. No, I mean it. Here's something else if you're still sure. A London ticket. One way. First class. Oh, and he's, uh, he's a mate of mine. He's got some property and he says he may be able to help you with a job. Why are you bothering? I just want you to put all this behind you. What happened between your parents? Losing Vic? Everything. I admit, I've always found you attractive. I know. It was your, your spirit, the fact that you didn't give a toss. Two of a kind. Get out in the big wide world, find yourself, start again. Sounds like you'd like to be doing it. Maybe I'm not as strong as you. Supposing I don't like what I find, in me or out there. Change it. You're doing your menus? Hmm. Come to check the spelling, have you? I'm on my night break. What do you reckon? You spelt tabs of date wrong. Huh? Joking. Eric not in there. Looking for him, are you? No. Could do with a word with him, though. Rather you than me. He does usually come in at lunchtime, though, doesn't he? Definitely not today. Eh? He's uh, he's gone to St Albans. Long way to go for some tatty antiques. Well, wow. I know Eric. He'll probably pick some up of interest. <laughs> you really have spelled tabla de wrong. I don't see what all this has got to do with you tipping up here. Well, I had to escape. Michael got violent. Got says I were too frightened to go, too frightened to stay. I lost all my confidence. I'm a shadow of me for myself. Why here? 
Home is where the heart is. I feel safe. Well, don't get too used to it. Hey, you'll be all right now. Now you made the break. I hope and pray I will be. Of course you will. Get yourself a nice little place miles from anywhere, eh? Nobody will bother you. You're right. And I can't sleep on that sofa forever. Not with my back. Of course not, love. Get yourself your own place and your own bed. <laughs> and in the meantime, I might as well have Mandy's flat. Well, it'll do me. Emily is in there. She can move in with Butch. She's very moral. Oh, no wonder he's highly strong. I'll go and hear it. I told her, didn't I? Home comes the hero. You'd better get gone. Something the matter, old boy? There won't be. As soon as you get bucking up the taxi. I don't think so. Oh, did, did, do you think you could lend me a tenner? You get note of me. Or her. She's told me what's gone off. Everything. Oh. That must be a bit of a blow for you, eh? Well, if she's told you everything, you'll realise why I can't possibly go now. I mean, Betty and I have got far more going between us than you and she ever had. Besides, it's not as though you were married. You ever wondered why she wasn't keen? We both made his minds up about that. Of course you did, pal. But tell me this. Has Betty Eggleton ever done anything she didn't want? Now, come on, we don't have to fall out over this. Oh, yes, we do. Bow. The jokes aren't funny anymore, if they were worth. People still laugh at them. Betty cried. Because she knew what I could have given her. Still could. She cried because she'd been daft. A young lass who had seen note, taken in by a third-rate end of the pier comic, they shut the piers down, lad. Only you won't realise it yet. You're just a walking joke now. So keep on walking. What's Betty got to say about it? I'm telling you. But you can't make me leave. <laughs> oh. Oh, why you were spouting old gags to people waiting for oh. main up to come on? I were working with these hands. While you were trying to find a landlady who would laugh at you, I were loving and looking after a woman. You're hurting me! Now you know what it feels like. Please! All right, I was wrong! I'll shift you, son. And I'll break them. And then I'll break every other bone in your body. All right. All right! No hard feelings. Has she gone? Uh, not exactly. She's moved into Mandy's. She's what? Hang on. Emily had that room. Well, it's only temporary. Your dad's had a go at her. Oh, it's his fault. She always good wrapping round the little finger. She is your mum. Yeah, that's what I thought, Lisa. I worshipped her. Now as Sammy were worse, he were like a babby. And she just took off! Well, I don't think she feels exactly proud of herself. She'll say what she wants and what suits her. I don't want to see her, mate. And I'm not stepping foot in there until she's gone. <sighs> well, what about me? How do you think I feel? I wasn't there when you were growing up. Yeah, well, uh, I wish you were. <sighs> I ain't got those memories with your dad. I'm living in her home. It's not hers. Oh, in some ways it is. Look, I know she used to be full of fun and she liked getting glammed up. I mean, look at me. I'm a pig farmer with hands like leather. I need you in there with me, Butch. Otherwise, I don't think I can tackle it. Oh, 
hate these places. Hmm. What are you doing? Huh? Well, I bet I think she's been cuddling a yeti. <laughs> diesel! You are? Oh, I almost forgot what all this about, Nelly. Have you got shot of that diesel yet? I've been trying to get shot of my ex-missus, if you haven't noticed. Look, just get rid. What, so you can get your hands on the lolly? I've told you I want out to do with it. Oh. It's not illegal, not really. Zach, it's a fiddle. Yeah, only the government. What's wrong with using an initiative to generate a bit of cash? <laughs> Just like the old Zach. Always looking for business opportunities. How much did you hear? Oh, just what you said about raising a bit of cash. I bet Lisa's right proud of you. Yeah, well, I would be. If he didn't get his beard daggings in my mashed spuds. Wish your dad was here. Yeah. All this wouldn't have happened if he was. You don't know that. I've let you both down. After he died, I was determined to do my best for you. All of you, all three of you, no favourites. But everything I try just goes wrong. And we end up falling out and constantly rowing. Most of the people I know are rowing their folks. Well, arguments are one thing, but trying to... That's something else. But what makes it worse is people being nice, sympathetic. And you know what they're really thinking? She can't be much cop as a parent. Maybe it don't suit everyone. See, even you think it. Would suit me. Of course it would. I spent my whole life trying to be me. I've always said what I think. Might have been wrong half the time, but... I just hope people respected my honesty. Now this. You know, it's worse than what happened to your dad in some ways. And I've got nothing to say. Because I don't understand. It's not getting at you, is it? Chris's constant sniping. Well, I'll get fed up of it before I do. When I got my first job as a truck driver, I got a decent road map and a thick skin. Anyway, it's not me he's getting that, it's you. Big brothers tease little sisters. He's never got out of the habit of it. Neither of you. That's rubbish. I'm an independent woman, I've got a career. Stirring stuff. But when you're with Chris, you're still his sister. You might tell him off, but admit it, when does he take any notice? It might have been true once, but not anymore. I've done something that'll make him sit up and take notice. And you. Sure. You watch. Would you like a drink, Mr Turner? What's up? Have you lost the power of speech? I'll, um, oh, I'll have brandy. Make it till I one. I, I, I take it you've had a winner? I suppose so. Got a result, as they say. Old Codger romped home. Trapped out comic fell at the last and had to be put out of its misery. Very, very sad. Very sad all round. What I want to do in here is talk about the past. How do you feel about this? How do you feel about that? Let them try and help you, Kel. You've got everything going for you. I still can't change the past. I can. Well, a little bit of it. When I was coming over here, I was thinking, I, I can't remember the last time I said I loved you. You never did. That's what I thought. A child would notice. I'm so sorry. Because, because I do. Because I've always cared what happened to you. I always wanted you to do well. That's love, isn't it? Yeah. I love you too, Mum. <laughs> I'll sleep here. 
You go stay in your room. No. I appreciate what you're both doing. Lisa wears Nelly's out of the road in Mandy's flat. Makes it easier, especially for Lisa. Bit easier for all of us if he's just kicked her out. Show compassion, son. She's your mother. It's lonely in that flat. You've only been in there ten minutes. Oh, up. Come on. <sighs> in this nice. Hey, can you spur a can, Zachariah? In the fridge. Be a darling, Emma. Fetch us a drink. <laughs> Not me, it's you. Hi. Keep it down. It took ages to get Joseph off. Sorry. Anybody want one? I've got one. Just water. So, how is Kelly? OK. Oh, for goodness sake, you help yourself. You can't do that quietly. Sorry. Frankie is a guest, Chris. Well, I'm glad you told me. I thought she was a squatter. I don't fancy one. Good. Have one. I don't know which of you is the most pathetic. No. Well, you're counting yourself out of the equation. No, it's you. She doesn't know any better. Who can blame her for freeloading? Cheeky get. We all have to indulge in your... your dabbling. You dabble in the haulage firm when you were supposed to be a committed vet. But now you're part-time. You dabble in, well, relationships. Then you stick your nose into home farm business. But only when it suits you. Finished? No. Get your act together. I'm going to bed. I've stopped playing. Dabbling. Sure. And I'm very serious about Frankie. I'm also very serious about estate business. Why else would I have outbid you and bought Wiley's farm? <laughs> <laughs>